Dingo woke up in a great mood. The new military games update came out. He even left without saying goodbye to his wife. He uploaded the update on all the simulators. Finally, the branch of unique South African equipment became available for soldiers. Dingo ran inside the barracks, lighted up the match and ordered the recruits to dress up. Sleepy soldiers barely moved. Someone started grumbling, but as soon as angry combat entered the room, soldiers dressed up in three seconds. They were brought to the simulators. The recruits started to learn how to operate the military equipment. The education went quite well. Suddenly, disheveled Zaza ran inside the hangar. I'm pregnant! What we're going to do now? In panic, Dinga hid in the corner of the hangar. He didn't know what to do in this situation. Happy Combat started laughing at them. Wow, guys, you rock! General Akhat arrived because of the noise. He was dissatisfied with the news. You'll have to leave the army for two years. The girl was named Siren. Apparently that was because she didn't stop crying all the time. Dinga shot himself in the toilet. It was the only place where he could relax. All went well. He shot a couple of enemy tanks. But because of the knock on the door, he got distracted and didn't manage to hide in the shelter. Open it now, bastard! I know you're playing your games again! Zaza made Dinga to go to the shopping center to buy diapers. Disgruntled, he went on a family errand, bought the diapers and decided to walk through the lanes to get home quickly. Suddenly, the cries resounded behind the corner. Ah, uh, what do you need? Give me your phone now! Dinga felt outrage. The robbery was committed in the middle of the day. He partly rushed towards the hooligans, grabbed them by the scruff and smashed their foreheads. The outlaws ran away. Dinga lifted the phone, gave it back to the guy and advised him not to walk through these dangerous lanes any longer. Neville told that he escaped from home tonight. He was peacefully watching the TV when suddenly someone rang in the doorbell. The guy looked in the peephole. It turned out to be the military recruiter with someone to the army. No one is at home. But the recruiter understood that he was being fooled and tried to knock the door down. The frightened recruit jumped out from the window and ran as far as he could. This is how I ended up in your region. Dinga confessed that he didn't want to go to the army as well. In the beginning, it was very tough. But when the military simulators with war games appeared on the base, the service became much more fun. Let's go with me. I'll show you my equipment. They went to the Dinga's place. He handed the diapers to Zaza. Siren kept shouting and the guys locked themselves in the toilet. Neville had never seen a game with such amazing graphics, realistic sky and the sounds. He tried to navigate the plane. It was quite fun, but nevertheless, he didn't want to join the army. Maybe you can go to the army instead of me. You will play as much as you like. I'm ready to pay you 100,000 Robux for this from my mom's golden card. Hmm, how will we make it? I've got a makeup artist friend, he will help. Well, then you'll stay here instead of me and we'll buy diapers. Furious Zaza was knocking on the door. It turned out the Dinka bought diapers of a wrong size. Guys went to the shop again and visited the makeup artist on the way. Elton easily changed their appearances. It wasn't too hard. When Neville returned to Dingo's place, Zaza hadn't even noticed the substitution. Dingo went to the military recruitment office, where he was already awaited. He hoped to be sent to his previous base, but it turned out that Neville was from a rich family, so his parents came and paid for the VIP army for their son. Don't worry, son. You will like it in there. The military unit where they were brought wasn't what he expected at all. It was very beautiful and nicely decorated there. Soldiers laid on their beds all day long, ate popcorn and watched the TV. When the guys got bored from laying, 
They rode scooters, cooked the barbecue, and instead of course, they dug ore in Minecraft. Everything was awesome, but Dinka got disappointed because of that military simulators. There weren't any in there. How do you learn how to make war here? What for? We're not interested in that at all. Soldiers asked the recruit not to bother them with that question. Someone suggested watching a movie about Mafia. Dinka wasn't satisfied with such service, so he decided to address the issue to the local general. Yes, yes, come in. Dinga went in and greeted formally. The general was amazed by such posture and commended the soldier. Dinga complained that there were no educational trainings in that military unit. It would be nice to lift the soldiers up from their beds. The general agreed, but it was complicated. The spoiled children didn't want to do anything. Can I try something real quick? I will need your laptop for that. Dinga downloaded the game for the general. He explained the man that everything was super simple, as he could just train his soldiers using the mechanics of this game. It wouldn't be just for entertaining, but instead, his soldiers would learn the military strategy, take part in combat operations, and learn how to conduct tank battles. They would fly the warplanes and helicopters, or else become the captains of the battleship. Hey, let me try this myself. General Burger swiftly pushed Dinga away and began to ride the tank like a madman. It was clear as the day that he knew firsthand what was war. Without any training period, he was methodically destroying the enemy's combat equipment. In less than five minutes, General Burger finished the battle in flawless victory. Yes, we need such simulators for our soldiers. Already on the next day, these machines were brought to the military base. They were made out of gold and covered with diamonds. The massage room was converted into a classroom. Private Ryan was assigned to be in charge of trainings and education. From then on, the barracks were empty. These rich kids even refused to visit the canteen. Waiters were bringing food right to their classroom. Everyone was utterly enthusiastic about these new wargame simulators and General was happy that he managed to raise this slacker's interest in military matter. It honestly felt like they were in the army, and most importantly, it was perfectly safe for these special elite soldiers. Sometime later, they thought of themselves as of great professionals. General Akhat came to our base. Awesome, bring him over here. We're gonna show him our novelty. But General Akhat wasn't surprised at all. Instead, he informed that they had been using the same machines for three years already and that his soldiers played much better. It all led to an argument and as a result, two generals decided to organize a championship between the two military units. The winner of that competition would just as usually get an early release from the army. General Akhat returned to the base. He found combat and gave him an urgent order to return Dinga from his leave. We must not humiliate ourselves. Poor Neville was losing his mind. Zaza left him completely alone to babysit the child while she went to visit her mother. This little weasel was crawling around the flat, wrecking furniture and she was constantly screaming. Someone rang the doorbell. Neville went to open it. Some soldiers stood on the porch. Pack your things quickly! General Eckhart summons you. Neville turned around and realized that even the army was better than this hell. The championship began. The military units were both in full combat readiness. General Eckhart was full of hope that his best fighters, Dinga in combat, would bring him that victory. But Neville had no slightest idea what buttons to push. He was losing round after the round. At the same moment, Dinga was working miracles from Rich Kid's side. Everyone gathered around to witness the one percenter. General Akhat was enraged. Dingo, what's the matter with you? You play worse than the newbies. During the break, Neville rushed to the toilet and called his double. What should I do? I lose all the time. The real Dinga calmed him down as he had a good plan. Don't worry. 
My victory will bring you the early release. Thank you. I will pay off your favor as soon as we meet. This moment, Combat was sitting in the nearest booth. He heard the entire conversation. Everything was clear. Hey, give me your phone now! He demanded 200,000 Robux for keeping silence. Otherwise, everybody would learn about their deception. Dinga agreed to give him his 100,000 and Neville complied as well. The blackmailer returned to the phone back and laughed. Don't worry, Neville. I also have some information about the snitch. The tournament continued. The only serious rival, Combat, didn't interfere with Dingo's victory. He just wanted to receive Robux as soon as possible. With no regrets, he came out of his shelter and spoiled the entire game. General Akat was very disappointed. Dingo, get over here! Neville happily ran towards the exit, but Combat called him from behind. He brought the guy into his room and started demanding the Robux. Neville looked very confident for some reason. He approached the bed and lifted the mattress. This is our triumph. If you say anything, we'll tell everyone that you are an anime fan. Dinga came back from the army. Neville thanked him for help and Zaza started shouting right away. Dinga handed her the Robux and his wife calmed down.